my gosh, $50,000 worth of debt at age 25. You should have a net worth of $100,000 by the time you hit 25. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, the world is in a economic crisis right now. Ever since March of 2020, everything has gone pear-shaped. People's credit card debt have absolutely skyrocketed. In fact, the US is now in almost a trillion dollars worth of credit card debt collectively. Americans now carry a record $986 billion worth of credit card debt. That's up 17% from the same time last year. That scares the crap out of me. Also, with student loan debt skyrocketing, over here in Australia, the average student loan debt is like $25,000. And the United States is no better with closer to $50,000 worth of average student loan debt. It scares the crap out of me. Now, there are people in this world struggling financially through no fault of their own. However, today's video, we're going to be watching, we're going to be watching a video that proves that there are people out there who are intentionally broke, and that's what my whole channel's about. Welcome to the channel. My name's James Hayes. If you're new around here, I call out broke people who make stupid financial choices and have the woe is me mentality. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and smash the like button. It really helps out the algorithm a lot. No changes, no money. So basically this show is called Princess. It's hosted by the finance expert Gail Van Zuxley. It follows around young ditzy idiotic women in credit card debt who make poor financial decisions. And that's what fascinates me. There's people out there who are in shit situations and it's their fault. So let's get straight back into the video. Meet Princess Andrea. She works part time in event marketing jobs for a max of five hours a week. <laughs> I do five hours of work before 12 o'clock. I'm from El Salvador and over there, your parents are responsible for your money situation until you get married. This 25 year old has been a princess in training since childhood. She was the cute one, the charming one, the social butterfly. It was a big contrast when we came to Canada. And she's continued to live like a debutante on her mother's dime. Oh my gosh, she's not going into credit card debt, is she? She's using her mum's money. This is absolutely disgusting. This is not going to fly at all. She really likes to live a lavish lifestyle, a lifestyle full of <laughs> expensive drinks, tanning, a uh, hundred dollars a month on tanning, just absolutely ridiculous. Why? Why? You tell me why. Coffee. Don't worry, I got it. A hundred and forty dollars a month on coffee. Jeans. Oh, my passion. Oh my god. Your passion is jeans. That's absolutely amazing. Look at her. She's just. She's just a walking billboard for 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 all these brands. Jimmy, I need new pairs of jeans. Andrea, you have like a hundred pairs of jeans at home. And when I see how much those jeans are, $160, $180. Yeah, mum, why aren't you doing something? You're just as useless. You're just as, as, as much to blame. And you have 32 pairs? That's not right. You've got 32 pairs and you've not stepped in to say something to your daughter? This is just bad parenting. However... You've got to understand, it's not just the parents' fault. It's the woman who's actually spending the money. After university, she headed off on an all-expenses-paid European tour. Three weeks down, she calls, crying. Mom, I don't have any money left. Three weeks into the holiday, and she's called up that she's got no money. I'm calling bullshit. I sent her money, and I said, you're going to have to pay me every penny back. But I never did. <laughs> what a shock. Absolutely no shock whatsoever. My mum once told me, never lend money out to anyone that you're not willing to give away. I have been living in my place for four months. Oh, well, at least she's living alone. Most of these women still live at home. For four months. And out of those four months, my mother has paid my rent twice and groceries twice. Yeah, and she's only doing this because you're shit with your money. One, you're not working enough. And two, you're blowing your money. And if mom doesn't buy her groceries, Andrea simply helps herself. I always raid the fridge thinking I'm entitled to anything that's in the house. How can you unironically say that you think you're entitled to anything in the house? How can you say that? How, how does this woman sleep at night? She does have a job-ish, but it's not a job job. I don't know how much money I make in a year. 
but, but, well, if you're only working five hours a week, you're probably earning, I don't know, uh, peanuts? I don't check my bank statement. I don't check anything. I thought my mother was responsible for it and she was going to pay for it. Yeah, but wh why? Why? Have you had that conversation with your mum or are you just assuming? She's been out of school for two years, but this princess has never held down a full-time job for more than seven days. And how old are you? She doesn't want to work herself in order to live that lifestyle. That's absolutely disgusting. Now, let's just say she's working full-time, she doesn't have any credit card debt, and she's got, I don't know, say $150 a week that she can blow, right? I can kind of understand the urge to want to spend money. People get into all sorts of debt one swipe at a time thinking it's okay. To 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 not work and then expect your mum and dad to pay for it, it's disgusting. Andrea's mother has been pushed to the limit. I believe that I have bailed Andrea out a hundred times. I can't seem to get on my feet. I don't even know why. You don't even know why? Yeah, okay, okay, all right, she's delusional. To help Andrea figure out this mess, I've brought her here to show her the error of her ways. Gil Boss Oxley, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. I am looking forward to sitting down and talking to you. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to watching it. Andrea wants what Andrea wants, and she gets it. How? Uh, uh, the bank of mum and dad? I always wonder... What do you think Gail, what do you think Gail Van Zuxley's net worth is? Manipulation. Oh my <laughs> gosh, you unironically say that? Manipulation? The f get out of here. What your girlfriend has to say. Long story short, she spends money she doesn't have. And she huh. What I don't understand about the show is why do they have to interview their friends and family? I know it makes good TV, but why haven't these friends and family sat down with this woman and told her what the problems were, or voiced their concerns. Part of being a good parent, part of being a good friend, part of being a good mentor, or wh whoever you are to this person, is to tell them the truth, is to look them in the eye and say, hey, you've got a spending problem. You don't have to go on TV for it. Not doing anything to, long story short, she spends money she doesn't have, and she's not doing anything to make the money back that she owes. If I could say one thing to her face, I would say, get a job. Yeah, but why haven't you said that to her? You don't work at all. I do. How many hours did you work last week? Uh, five. Uh, five hours. I wonder if it's five hours uh, in one day, or do you think she gets two hours here, two hours there, and an hour? Uh, there's nothing worse than showing up to work for three hours. Uh, because it just, your whole day's wasted. <laughs> Why do you not have a full-time job yet? That is a very good question. Uh, maybe because mum's been wiping her ass for her since she was a baby. It's taken me a long time to realise what I want to do. I wanna... uh, this whole, what I want to do, what I want to do. Well, you should be earning money and saving money. And you know what? Then you've got options. So once you finally work out what you want to do, the world's your oyster. As a mother, you always wish and hope that your kids are going to do better than you have done yourself. Yeah, honey, unless you're in like a billion dollars worth of credit card debt, your child is not doing any better than you. And part of it is your fault. As a useless mother, just handing everything to your children. Shouldn't be doing this. Absolutely shouldn't be doing this. Now, people might get on my back about this because I'm not actually a father. I'm not actually a parent. But you don't have to be a parent to know that it's your job as a parent to teach your children how to deal with the real world. She's not going to be in charge of herself and her happiness. Circumstances will take a hold of her. No, no, circumstances won't um, if she's in control of her life. If she's working full time, saving money, investing, circumstances have nothing to do with anything. Circumstances only help the only circumstances only hurt the uh, unfortunate people who don't actually have any plans, don't actually have an emergency fund, don't actually do anything with themselves. She'll be a victim of her own irresponsibility. That to me is a very pathetic way of living life. That's right, mum, you tell her on TV. <laughs> you are a lazy girl. So this is the number crunch time, 
We can't wait to, to find out how much debt she's in, where she's spending her money, all these types of awesome things. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and smash the like button if you're new or old or whatever. Not calling you old, just smash the like button. We can forget I even said anything. On average, you have been earning about $400 a month. $400 a month. $400 a month ain't going to get you ahead financially. $400. Uh, yeah. Anyways, how much credit card debt do you think she's got? Does she have credit card debt or does she just owe a mum? Andrea, $400 a month? You're saving nothing. <laughs> no shock. You're spending 141 or 13% on your needs. 13% on your needs, okay. That's because mommy's paying for virtually everything. You're spending $281 in debt repayment. Oh, so she's got debt repayment. So let me know in the comments how much debt she's got. I reckon she's got $5,000 of debt. These women tend to not have ridiculous amounts of debt. Um, but she looks like she's in her mid-20s, so maybe she could be in eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 worth of debt. Let me know before we go through. And you're spending $628 on your wants. You only make $400. I'm not tracking the money that your mother is giving you in cash. Okay, so you're probably spending far more than that. Can you see the problem here? Let's look at your spending now. Oh, I wonder what her spending's like. So somebody buys your makeup, somebody buys gifts that you give to other people, somebody pays for your transportation. Some All these numbers look so low, but when you realize that mum and dad or someone else is paying for them, it just makes you realize how pathetic this is. Pays for your cell phone, somebody pays so you can eat in restaurants. You're a leech. I know. I was surprised to see how easy she took it in. I think now she's going to have to absorb it and massage it a bit. How old are you? 25. Oh my gosh, she's 25. She's earning $400 a month. She's never going to get ahead that way. Now, if you're 25 and you invest $100 a week into something like the S&P 500 with an average rate of return of 7% adjusted for inflation, $100 a week from age 25 to 65, you're going to retire with $1 million. Look into it yourself, but the S&P 500 is an incredible way to save and in the S&P 500 is an incredible way to invest money. Now, this is what irritates me, is people like this, they're ignorant. They're willfully ignorant about money. They just don't understand it. They just, it's just, it's not about saving money. It's about investing money and growing your wealth. It's not about just looking flash, looking fancy. You, you can do that, I don't know, never. Don't do that. It's just, it, if your only enjoyment out of life comes from spending money, there's something deeply wrong inside. Deeply wrong. Your debt. She's got $48,000 worth of debt. This is the worst one we've seen. $48,000 of debt. Holy shit. In total, you owe almost $50,000. Okay, so in terms of the race to get into the most debt, the fastest, you win. First place. Oh my gosh, $50,000 worth of debt at age 25. You should have a net worth of $100,000 by the time you hit 25. Oh my gosh. At least have a net worth of $50,000. This is just unbelievable. This is just a lack of understanding of what's important to you. You want to work out what you want to do for a living? Here, let me just tell you something. Every job you're going to do, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days, no matter what it is. So you better get your shit together. We've got three jobs in this life. One is the job where we earn our income. Two is the job where we save our income. And three is my favorite part, and that is the job where we invest our income. If you're living like this, not earning enough money or earning plenty of money and going into credit card debt. We, we saw on the channel a doctor in $300,000 worth of consumer debt because he deserved a different and a better lifestyle. Get out of town. Get your shit together. I believe in you. There are people out there and you might be one of them who are intentionally broke, willfully ignorant people out there going out there just wasting money, not knowing what to do with it. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It will keep you in check. Make sure to smash the like button. And if you enjoyed this princess series, make sure to check this video out on screen right now. You're going to love this video as well. Thank you very much for watching. You shouldn't be still here. You should be clicking on that. Click on it.
Thank you very much if you're still here. Bye.